Hello scientists, Dr Pumpkin here again with some more amazing science of colour experiments you can try until we see you again next time at the British Motor Museum. Today's experiment is all about acids and alkalis and uses substances that you can find at home in the kitchen. However, I would ask permission before you start raiding the kitchen cupboards and you might want a grown-up supervision if you're going to try this experiment yourself. Let's find out what we need. So I'm going to need an indicator. An indicator is something that tells you the pH or how acid or how alkaline a substance is. I'm going to use purple grape juice. I'm also going to need some acid. Now you might have some vinegar at home and I'm going to use some lemon juice. You're also going to need a base and for this I'm going to use some baking soda. Let's find out then what happens when I add my acid, my lemon juice, to my purple indicator. Let's watch. Ooh, give it a swirl. Can you see the difference? This one here that has no acid in it is a kind of dark purple colour, but this one has turned red. Can you see? Let's find out what happens when I have my base to my indicator. Maybe I'll get a different colour. This is going to go everywhere. No. Oh, it's fizzing. Shush it around a bit. Oh! It's gone like a really dark blue. It's almost black. Can you see the difference between the two? That's amazing. Okay then. So in the interest of science, I wonder what would happen if I added my leftover acid, my lemon juice, to my alkali. Let's find out. Oh, no way. Oh, I've created a volcano. But check it out. It's gone back to a sort of purple colour, the colour it was originally. What I've done is I've evened out the pH of my indicator and created an awesome volcano at the same time. Well, try it yourself. Happy scientific explorations and I'll see you next time for more Science of Colour. Hello everyone, Professor Pickle here and I've been testing out Dr Pumpkin's brilliant grape juice indicator experiment and I've made me own drink. Shall we give it a try? Cheers! Dr. Pumpkin! Tastes like vinegar! Ugh.